Good evening and welcome to the Eagle Eye. Holy Names visiting Concordia University, Irvine for tonight's Pac West matchup. I'm Jeff Runyon, joined with John O'Neill on the headsets tonight. How's it going, John? Jeff, I am excited to be here. Concordia in the running here. Seventh place team in the conference, really fighting for uh, three wins this week. I mean, you got tonight, tomorrow night, and Saturday. So, so some big opportunities ahead here for the Eagles. So uh, with that, I mean, getting off quick to a foul. You got whistles early there. Roman Barons gets that one, picks up his first team's first. Yeah, that's going to put Josh Caston at the free throw line. Going for two. First one up, and it will go. Makes that bucket. Eagles on the board already. Only 21 seconds off the clock. That's efficient. And that'll be two points early for the Eagles. Just 21 seconds into play. And Roman Barron's now going to bring the ball up for Holy Names. Quick offense looking around. Pass up top. Back over to Barron's. Barron's for three. And he'll drop a quick three-pointer. For Holy Names, you got the extra pass in the corner there from the Hawks. Found the open man and attacked the Eagles early here. Sanders drives the hoop, pulls back up, tries to kiss the glass. Doesn't quite go how he intended. Hawks will flip back the other way as the Eagles press on defense. Got the Sanders brothers starting out here tonight for the Eagles. That's K Sanders and J Sanders, as our friend Michaela Vanderclut likes to call them, but that's Kobe she, she, and she stole that from me. Okay, she gotcha, that. gotcha. Yeah. Well, that's going to be Kobe and Jalen Sanders out here tonight. You, you just make sure she cites her sources. Got it. Will do. Next All time, right. I'll say, "Hey, where'd you get that?" Yeah, and uh -huh. that's going to be another two points for Castone. Off to a quick start here. You know, I mentioned earlier, you've got the Eagles over in the seventh place bucket right now, and the Hawks in the ninth place bucket. So. You got to kind of divide here. The Eagles, uh, pretty close to setting here. They're seven and nine in conference right now. I'm pretty confident they'll be moving in here into the tournament. Here you go. The top eight teams are in the conference here that'll be transitioning. <laughs> right now, I'm sorry, I'm talking over them, but you had some confusion over who the home and visitor teams are. So they had uh, they've mixed it up. This is a rescheduled game being hosted here, and so Concordia is actually the home team typically obviously we're in the CU arena but tonight is playing as the visiting team so you'll have that most likely on your stat line at home we'll follow along there with you make sure we're all on the same page that's right and uh, that last foul comes from Kale Knuckles it's gonna be team second excuse me team's first my apologies his first team's first yep Austin Carter makes both of his free throws a junior, six foot five, out of La Habra, California, but a transfer from Irvine Valley College, which is uh, just down the street. And Kobe Sanders moving the ball around. Castone attacking, going for six points, and that will do it. Joshua Castone now all six of the Eagles' points here in CU Arena tonight. Just two minutes into play as the Hawks attack back. Hawks leading seven to six. Still a lot of basketball to play. A lot, a lot of basketball to play. And that's going to put him up 9-6 now. Comes off the floater, or off the contact into the floater there, but it'll sink and transition the other way. Edward Gray on those last two points from the Hawks. Roderick McCobb goes up, and that won't go. He didn't get the memo that Castone's the only one to make points so far. Yep. Just put the ball in his hands. Yeah, absolutely. you got to feed the hot hand. And a little bit of a scramble there. Hawks looking to make something happen on the one-on-one -on -one post up. Goes up left hand, won't go. And that'll be rebounded going back the other way for the Eagles. Jay Sanders to Kay Sanders. Looking to find some space. He's going to back down into the post. Kicks it out to Gaston on the outside. The hot hand doesn't fall there. We'll transition to the other side of the floor here. We have just about three minutes off the clock, and another floater there from the Hawks will put them plus five. Yeah, Demiri Lindo with the 12-footer, and the Eagles come back the other way. Now 6-11, to 11, down five points. Uh, attempted pass to Castone, won't go. That's going to be stolen away as the Hawks pull up for three. That won't go, and that'll be rebounded by Castone. 
And they did reset the scoreboard here to, to correctly. Uh, the Eagles will be Concordia. And, oh, right there, Sanders fights through, not able to lay that one in. But they corrected it where the Eagles are the Eagles. Hawks will be the visitors. I think both coaches will be a little bit happier not having to decipher that. And tip out against Jay Sanders. So that's going to be a Hawks ball underneath their own but excuse me, own basket. Uh, number 24, that's Travis Patrick checking in for the Hawks. Eagles send Matt Way in and Cam Feeney into the mix here. Well, in Holy Names right now, you know, really fighting for a tournament spot. They're, they're going to need to get a couple of wins here in these next couple of days. I mean, they're 5-11 and in the season, so only 16 games played. In comparison to you've got Azusa Pacific, got 18 on their scoreboard there. So you, you got a few extras. So they're going to need to have a tight home stretch here in order to make their way into the tournament. Concordia is going to need to more or less secure the spot with two of three this week. Uh, one of three should do it, but two of three is where you want to be. And if you're Coach Ken Ammon, you, you really just want three of three and not think about anything else. Yeah, absolutely. They're facing off with Azusa Pacific on Saturday, and that'll be a rematch from last week. Be a big battle here. Concordia play, played Azusa well the other night, ended up dropping that game, but uh, play, played well and, and kind of took it down to the end there. So I, I thought it was a good matchup there between the teams. Absolutely. K. Sanders goes up through the split, and that's going to be two points for him now as the Hawks take it back the other way, 13-8. to eight. Castone pressing out here. And that's going to get passed over. Hawks moving a quick ball around into a post up. And he'll go up. Easy layup for number four, Babakar Theombane. A graduate standing at six foot eight from Los Angeles, California. Up to Wayans. Wayans pump fakes, but passes over to McCobb. McCobb creates some contact, goes up, and that'll drop. That's going to put the Eagles at 10. Now just five points shy of the Hawks. You know, and I'm with McCobb there. He, he wanted a whistle on that one. I thought he had enough contact to get it, but uh, th these e Eagles are also okay. If you're going to let them keep playing, th th they'll play through it. Absolutely. And that's going to be an easy layup for Travis Patrick. And that's going to put the Hawks up 17-10. to 10. You know, something my, my coach always says is play through the contact. Don't expect the whistle. And McCobb definitely definitely did that there, and he put, put it up regardless. And we're going to out. If you're just now joining us, Eagles just short of the Hawks tonight 10 to 17 with 15 minutes left to play in this first half six points coming from Joshua Castone two from Kay Sanders and two from McCobb Hawks all over the place with 17 points coming from multiple different players McCobb now working the ball outside the arc and he'll lose the ball and the Hawks will take it back the other way that's Roman Barons on the counterattack, but he'll dish it back to Babakar Theombane. And that'll be an easy layup for the Hawks as the Eagles take it back the other way. Sanders brothers working the ball around. K. Sanders down to Jay Sanders for a nice bucket. Quick, and, bu quick bucket, too. Oh, yeah. And that'll be 12-19 headed back the other way. Little screen play here from the Hawks. Back up to Barons. Barons goes around the screen, and he puts a floater up off the glass. That's going to extend their lead to nine points now. Coach Dan Eberhardt yelling at his box saying, let's get a stop, trying to slow the Eagles down. Right now they're answering bucket for bucket. Jay Sanders up to Castone to weigh in. Out to K. Sanders. K. Sanders for three. That'll go. And that's his point total. And that's going to be 15 21 going back the other way. 13 minutes and 30 seconds left to play in this first half. It's definitely a battle here tonight. Both teams playing for the playoff spot. And that's going to be a foul on Roderick McCobb. His first. Team's third.
Checking in for the Hawks is number zero, Greg James, and number two, LJ Smith. Roman Barron's putting it down, splitting the defense off the glass. What an excellent drive and shot. It's going to be 15 to 23. As the Eagles bring it back the other way. Kale Knuckles over to Castone. Thrown into Jay Sanders. Jay Sanders with the contact, kicks it out to Brookins. Brookins overshoots, but Jay Sanders on the rebound. He'll put it up left-handed. That will drop. 17 to 23, coming back the other way. And that nice look from him too. Find, finding the space he needed to stay in up there. That you know, good pass from Brookins. Guy got, got over to him and, <laughs> and lays that one in. You see, see how I just call that quickly, yeah, just yeah. like that. <laughs> got, got to get some home calls. Yes, of course. Matthew Brookins, a freshman, saying it's six foot nine from Cypress, California. Definitely a force to be reckoned with, to say the least. Yep. And that's going to be a foul. Number 24. That's going to go against Travis Patrick, team second. His personal foul, first personal. And that's going to bring Kay Sanders underneath his own hoop, inbounding from the baseline. Up and over to Brookins. Brookins hands off to Kay Sanders, back to Brookins. Brookins is going to put it up, won't go. He's fighting for that rebound, wasn't able to come down with it, but I like the aggressive play. Out of a player like Brookins, you know, hasn't seen a whole lot of minutes this year. Has, has seen some and been a good freshman year for the young man so far. But really getting in there and being an impact player here late in the game. This is when his team needs him. He's going to see more minutes throughout the rest of the year here. Uh, and going to need to see his physicality. You know, checking in at 6'9 at there, he, he's going to be on the tall side. But really is going to need to use his strength, which is where he's going to be dominant here late in the game. Excellent right. pass up and over to Jay Sanders, and he'll put that one up off the glass. This is from his brother, Kobe Sanders. Hawks working the ball low, down into the post. Goes up one-on-one -on -one with the left hand, and that'll drop. And with that, we're going to go ahead and get a quick timeout. Be back with you momentarily here at CUA. And welcome back after that quick timeout. Eagles trail 19 to 27 against the Holy Names Hawks. And the Eagles will take possession, headed back the other way, trying to put up some points here as they are at an eight point deficit. Castone working, doesn't like the screen, waves him off. Jay Sanders now up top, back to Castone. Jay Sanders backing him down, looking for the one-on-one. -on -one. He'll go up. That will be blocked. And the Hawks will take it back the other way. LJ Smith looking for help. Passes it down low. Now the one-on-one. -on -one. Kicks it up top for three. And that'll go. LJ Smith for three. And that's going to extend the lead by 11 points. Eagles now down 19-30. to 30. Eagles definitely in a tough spot right now with 10 minutes left to play in the first half. Custone goes up. He'll be fouled, so that'll send him to the free throw line. And that foul is going to go against LJ Smith. Team's third. Stone makes his first. Kobe Sanders checking back in for Matthew Brookins. And he'll make his second. 21-30 now. Hawks bring it back the other way. Eagles need to make a stop on this possession. Take it back and score some points. Get out of this deficit. It's going to take a good defensive game to keep them in this one. Kobe Sanders pressing now out on 
Edward Gray, but Edward Gray is going to pass over to Demiri Lindo. Back to Gray. Gray off the glass, won't go. That's going to be rebounded by Jay Sanders. Now over to Kobe Sanders. Jay Sanders breaking it down, going one-on-one. -on -one. He'll kick it out to his brother. Eagles with 15 seconds of the shot clock. Going to need to find some space, open it up a little bit here. There's McCobb, drives the lane. He'll be fouled. 9.33 on the clock. Both teams going to send in some stubs. We're seeing a lot of minutes from everyone here on the Concordia side. Kay Sanders throwing the ball in from underneath his own. He'll hit McCobb. McCobb for three. That'll go. And, and that's his point total. And that'll extend the lead now just six points. Eagles 24, Hawks 30. Mary Lindo passes it over to Barons. Barons finds a good pass underneath, and he will be fouled. That's Austin Carter on the attempt. You know, you got eight whistles so far here, so the, the, definitely a lot of whistles. I mean, it's split at four and four right there. That's still quite, quite a few on both sides. And that was Matt Wayand on the foul. And... Edward, excuse me, Austin Carter's first will drop 24-31. Second won't go. That's rebounded by Castone. And the Eagles take it back the other way. Hawks trying to full court press. And that'll hit McCobb. And the Eagles now taking it up. McCobb goes up with the left. And that won't go. Hawks taking it back the other way. Barron's bringing it down for the Hawks. Behind the back pass, finds the open man. Excellent play. Just great ball movement there by the Hawks, and that'll be an easy bucket off the glass. 24-33 now. Eagles trail by nine. Need to make something happen. Roderick McCobb trying to go the one on two. We'll go out to Jay Sanders, back to Kay Sanders. Okay, Sanders loses the ball but is able to recover, and he'll go up for the layup high off the glass. That'll drop. 26-33. Excellent one-on-one -on -one there. Not, nice floater from him. F found the space he needed to. He, he had struggled with the dribble a little bit earlier on, did that. What the Eagles can't do is give, give up so many threes there on the back end. Yeah, that's going to be Demiri Lindo, the freshman from Oakland. He'll hit that three. Eagles minus 10 right now. Castone looking for space, finds it, throws it up. He'll get the nice roll there. 28-36 the score in favor of the Hawks here. Eagles looking for a stop on the defensive front. Well, I guess you call that a stop. <laughs> You're going to send him to the charity stripe, but no, no buckets go. And a 7.34 on the clock. That'll take us to immediate time out after you talk to us about our, one of our sponsors. Oh, yeah. For over 80 years, Alsop and Associates Allstate Insurance have worked to the Eagle Eye. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight in this matchup between the visiting Holy Names Hawks and your Concordia University Irvine Eagles. After that short timeout, Eagles trail 28-36 to 36 as Demiri Lindo takes two. He'll miss his first. And he'll miss his second. Rebounded by Castone, and that'll go back the other way. So no points there. That will be a stop for the Eagles. And they're looking to trim away at this lead currently are being beaten by eight points so trying to bring this down to six or five castone pulls up for the jumper and won't go that'll be rebounded by the hawks taken back the other way demiri lindo with the ball passes it into excuse me passes it into babakar theombane and that'll be a quick two points for them as now they extend their lead by 10 points hawks 
running a full court press here against the Eagles. And they will be broken. So Jay Sanders now with the ball just past half. Now over to Castone. Stone over to K. Sanders. K. Sanders pump fakes. Finds Matt Wayand on a drive. Matt Wayand drops it in for two. And that'll put the Eagles at 30 now down just eight points. Well, and you, you, you're really looking to see the Eagles find a run here. You know, one of the things had a chance to chat with Coach Ken Ammon earlier said, you know, we, we got to play defense and play, you know, the full 40 minutes here. The Eagles have struggled a little bit late in the game in the past few games and so that's going to be one of the things is defense down late in the game the other one is, is going deep in the bench just seeing these guys play and seeing how everyone works so right there eagles will force a turnover send it the other way six minutes three seconds on the clock here eight point game and the eagles with the opportunity to drive this forward and that way in right in front of the press box here K. Sanders waiting for the screen to come. Comes on the right side. K. Sanders breaking it down one on one over to Wayne. Wayne for three. Add that Bang. Point total. That'll go. So 33 38. Eagles have now trimmed the lead down to just five points with five minutes and 40 seconds left to play in this first half. Eagles making a good comeback effort here and needing to continue getting stops and putting points on the board. Barron's for three. That won't go. Rebounded by Way and Way and over to McCobb. You know, Eagles do a nice job right there. Point now, you saw Kill Knuckles uh, down in the box. I mean, playing it against the five there on the other side, making sure he backed him down, but then quickly turned over just to make sure he had the setup right and was able to look for that rebound. I mean, you, you didn't see him come down with it, but just strong play from that young man down low. Kill Knuckles with the ball for the Eagles. Puts it down, goes over to Kay Sanders. Just eight seconds left on the clock. Need to put a shot up here. Kay Sanders out to way and way in for three. And that's going to go just over to Jay Sanders. And e either way right there, Eagles are losing that ball, whether it was from the shot clock or from going out right there. You only had one second left, so not, not a whole lot that Jay Sanders can do in that situation. Hawks now bringing it in, still leading by five, 38-33, Eagles trail. And Edward Gray on the drive, he'll get through the defense, put that one up, extend the lead now, seven points. Jay Sanders bringing the ball up for the Eagles as they attack back, looking to answer. Over to Castone. Castone down, down to Jay Sanders. Over to Kale Knuckles for three. And he will drop that, 36-40. As my good friend John says, add that to his point total. Add that to his point total. All righty. Well, and, and the Eagles right there, I mean, probably first 10 minutes of this game struggled a little bit. Last six have, have really done a nice job coming back in it, not only getting stops on the defensive front right there. We're talking about Kale Knuckles again. He's going to be a problem down low there tonight, and he's showing it. Castone with it, gives the ball to weigh in, dishes out. Castone, oh, I love to see that opportunity. Didn't have the right footing there. Those two connected back and forth with each other. Not a bad job. There's weigh in for three. Bang, Add two in a row. Total. And that's going to bring the Eagles now just one point within the Hawks, 39 to 40 on six. And welcome back after that short time out and six quick points from Matt Wayne is going to bring the Eagles back into this game. Now just down by one point, 39 to 40 as the Hawks go for another attempt here. Number four, that's Babakar Thiombane goes up. He will be fouled by Matt Wayne. That's going to send him to the free throw line. That's going to be Matt Wayne's second. So I believe Eagles just one point from sending the Hawks into bonus. One foul. Yeah. Sorry, my <laughs> Wrong way with it. My, my, brain is, my brain is working not 100% speed right now, but that's all right. Bob Carthiombe makes his first. Don't 
Doesn't make his second. That'll be rebounded by Kale Knuckles. Josh Castone goes up to help him out with that. And he'll you know, that off. N Knuckles wanted the rebound on the stat line. Castone's okay with it. He's bringing the ball at the floor. So it's a win-win. Yep, absolutely. Good look there to Castone. Won't go, unfortunately. Kale Knuckles puts it down, goes up, out to Kay Sanders. Kay Sanders, wide open three. And that'll go just off the back of the rim. Hawks now bringing it back the other way. Love the rebounding effort here from both teams. Still a two-point deficit here for the Eagles tonight as they have brought this back in the last five, five or so minutes. Just seven seconds left on the shot clock. Gray goes up. That'll go up and over. And that's going to go off of Castone and out on a little bit of a bobble. But just two seconds left on the shot clock. So Hawks are going to have to get a quick shot off, off on this opportunity here. I think they're saying that that was touched by, uh, by Castone. He's who drove it out. So yeah, they're giving us 20 seconds. Yep, new shot clock. LJ Smith now for the Hawks over to Lindo back to Smith and that's James for three that won't go Eagles bring it back the other way looking to take the lead or tie it up right here okay Sanders loses control of the ball goes over to his brother Jay Sanders Jay Sanders up to Castone Castone running the offense here calls out for the screen Matt way and on the move Castone up to Jay Sanders. Jay Sanders puts it down, goes up. Nice shot. Ties it up. Eagles now match with the Hawks. 41 to 41. One minute, 50 seconds left to play in the first half. Excellent play in the last seven or so minutes from the Eagles battling back into this one. You know, if it, if it was like the women's game and there were quarters, Eagles would have been playing a terrible first quarter and a great second quarter. Absolutely. Would have been re really the stat line we would have been talking about. Yep. Right now, this playing a great other time. Moving way in through, gives the ball over into the corner here. Kay Sanders seeing where he wants to go with it. Way in, moving quite a bit. Wow, Eagles, excellent great pass. pass there. Excellent pass from Kay Sanders down to Joshua Castone, Eagles wide open. Take their first lead of the game. Yeah, that's going to be Eagles 43, Hawks 41, with just one minute left to play in this first half. Eagles playing excellent on this side of the ball over here Kale Knuckles tips it over to Kay Sanders, Kay Sanders bringing it up less than a minute to play passes over to Kale Knuckles for three bang! And that's his point total. 46-41 Eagles now extend the lead by five points with 43 seconds left to play, Eagles have absolutely lit on fire and that's going to be a timeout called by the Hawks, so do you have family or friends coming into town? Yeah, right now, man. Uh, well, he'll be 6-41, to 41, an excellent second half of the first half, if you will. Eagles have lit a fire underneath their, both their offense and defense, and they have taken control in the last 10 minutes. Hawks looking to run this shot clock down to the very last second, give Eagles little opportunity to score here. Number 33 checks in for the Hawks. That's Sam Gold, and that's going to be a turnover. Eagles will take it back the other way with 20 seconds remaining. Kay Sanders almost hits that eight second mark in the backcourt, but gets across. 10 seconds left. That's going to go up to Jay Sanders. Jay Sanders puts it out and around. Kale Knuckles now out to Jay Sanders. Jay Sanders for three. And that's going to be just short. One second left. And instead of shooting it, they dribble through. Eagles will go into the half plus five. With their first lead of the game coming right there, and Coach Ken Ammon happy with what he sees out of his similar stat line right now. I mean, 13 to 11 on the rebound game. Sure, Eagles are up by a pair. Uh, Eagles are shooting 58% of the feet from the field. Hawks are shooting 55%. I mean, they're, they're right there on every stat line. The difference being, Eagles are six of 11 behind three-point land. The Hawks three of eight. So Eagles have just taken more shots and been more effective behind three-point land so far. And so I would chalk it up to, overall, very even first half, but that, that's where you're going to be at from those numbers. Jay Sanders for three. At Bang! Point total. And I, that'll put us up 49-43. You know, and maybe the preemptive comment there, just talking about that, Eagles get a nice block, it'll stay on this side, but 
you, you see the Eagles just doing phenomenal behind three-point land, 7 of 12. They'll take that every game if they can get it, uh, keep that stat line rolling. So uh, th that's one of the areas I'd like to see Concordia just continue to make more threes. They, they, they've been on hot and cold streaks, both sides of the, the coin there. But when they are able to convert behind three-point land, man, they're dangerous. Absolutely, and we've definitely seen that tonight. That sparked a big comeback for the Eagles. I mean, six straight points out of Matt Wayand in, in a minute. And another layup from number four, Babakar Thionbane, currently leading the game tonight. Well, and, and you know, one thing I want to point out on that side, might seem like a subtle thing right there, but Eagles are used to switching through screens, very deep on that side. We see it on the women's side as well. Switch through a lot of screens left and right. You knew that K Sanders, J Sanders matchup was probably going to cause them to want to get that uh, mismatch there. And J Sanders did a nice job of staying back. And you saw them fight through, stayed on through the screens, didn't switch through on either end. And because of that, you got to keep your strong matchup. Now, you saw the Hawks were still able to convert, but subtle things like that where the Eagles are, are typically switching through every screen, but notice the big mismatch there and didn't go until they absolutely had to. The Umbane pulls up for two more. That'll bring him to 15 points on the night. And now the Eagles only lead by two, 49 to 47. Jay Sanders over to Castone. Castone to McCobb. McCobb over to Kay Sanders. Kay Sanders over to Castone. Castone for three. They gave him way too much space right there. I just got to let you know. I mean, he, he's going to take advantage of that more often than not. And a great, oh, I thought he had a true block right there, but wh whistle blow there against Jalen Sanders, picking up his first team's first of the half. Edward Gray at the free throw line, looking to tie it up. He'll make his first. Gray, the junior, coming by way of Oakland, California, previously at Texas A&M. And he'll score two. That's going to tie the game up, 49-49. Eagles and Hawks neck at neck. Stone slowing it down, waiting for the screen to come from Knuckles. Passes over to Kay Sanders. Kay Sanders puts it down, goes on the drive. And that won't be a charge foul. Feet were not set. That's going to be another quick fast break and a score from number 21. That's Austin Carter. And Eagles now lose the lead again tonight, but looking to make a comeback here. Passes it up to McCobb. McCobb goes down, puts it up off the glass, and he'll tie it back up. What a move. Yep, excellent what spin. a move. Hawks looking to make another attempt here to take the lead, and that will come off of number 22, Edward Gray, on the drive. Eagles and Hawks battling back and forth. Tie lead, tie lead. Okay, Sanders now looking to take the lead back. And Castone Easy pulls up from free throw line, and he'll, that'll splash. 53-53, Eagles tie it back up. And, you know, good recognition from him even. It looked like he was one to keep driving the hoop on that. And he, and he stopped and said, hey, if I just take a free throw, I'm going to be okay here. He did, ties the game up at 53-all. Kale Knuckles getting back down, and that's going to come off a left hand from number 21, Austin Carter. So Hawks take the lead by two again. Really like to see Way in stay down in the post a little bit longer and hedge against that, maybe trap down low. When you get the big receiving the ball that low, that's a tough job from Kale Knuckles. He, he's grabbing a wow right there. I mean, there's the two piece. There's the two Can piece. Can he get the biscuit? I hope so. Yeah. Foul's going to go against Edward Gray, picking up his second team's first of the half here with 15 59 on the clock. We'll head straight to a media timeout. And welcome back after that quick timeout. Eagles have tied up the game 55-55 with the Hawks. McCobb looking for the biscuit. Oh, yeah. 
He'll Give get him it. the biscuit. He'll get it. Give him the biscuit. For those of you joining us for the first time, maybe, two piece and a biscuit refers to the two points that go, the biscuit being the and one. So Macab is going to walk away tonight with a two piece and a biscuit. Hawks now looking to retaliate, and that'll come. He'll get his two piece, looking for a biscuit here. That's going to be a foul against Matthew Brookins. Fifteen forty-seven on the clock here. Edward Gray gets his biscuit, and that'll send us back the other way. Eagles fifty-six, and Hawks fifty-eight. Over to Kale Knuckles for three. That's, That's going to be off to yeah. the right. Yeah, I, could, I noticed that in the air, a little we, to we, the we, right. We have the right angle for that. Yeah. So. Oh, big Damn block it. by Jay Sanders. And that's going to go out on the Eagles. Well, and De Damari Lindo gets up and says, oh, I hope that one isn't on film. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, now LJ Smith now for the Hawks passes it in. Number 24, Travis Patrick. Travis Patrick off the glass, won't go. Rebounded by the Eagles, and that'll send us back the other way. Well, and, and you know what? There's another example, though. The Hawks are receiving the ball. Their bigs are getting the ball low in the post there. That is what they want. That one thrown away there. Castone got a little aggressive there. Hawks looks like they'll slow down the tempo a little bit. and flips around. Hawks will take it and pick it up a little here. Plus four over the Eagles right now. Somebody put the ball in Wayne's hands. Yep, Wayne's the hot hand tonight for sure. Castone goes up. It's going to be blocked, so no travel there. Jay Sanders looking for some help over in the corner. He'll go one on one, one on two, and he'll put that in nice and easy. 58 to 60. Eagles battling here to bring this one back. Edward Gray moving the ball around for the Eagles, trying to go through a couple screens. And he's going to pass it off to Greg James. Greg James up to LJ Smith. LJ Smith out to James. James pulls up, and that'll drop. 58-62 now. Eagles trail by four. That's Castone bringing it up for the Eagles now. Down to Kale Knuckles. Up to Wayan. Castone finds Brookins on the two on one. He'll go up, no foul. And the Hawks will take it back the other way. I want to see Brookins back somebody down here. So re really like to see that. And right. a left hand layup. And the Eagles will call a 30 second timeout. Turned into a media here at 13.35 on the clock. We're back. And welcome back after that quick timeout. Eagles trail 58 64. And Kay Sanders bringing it up to Jay Sanders. Over to McCobb. Cobb puts it down, passes over to Wayne. Wayne for three. He found the space he needed. Uh, that won't go, but Jay Sanders will be fouled. Excuse me. The other way around. And, and the, the, the officials are going to talk about it, though, because I, they both signaled from the other person here. So they're going to they're see what they got here. Funny look on the face of Travis Patrick of the Hawks as he heard something that we didn't. They're giving it a double foul here. Coach Ammon's not even happy with that. They're going to go a jump ball. So Jalen Sanders picks one up. Third of that there. And they give Theon Bain one, his first, team's second there. So the jump ball goes in favor of Concordia here. Chase Sanders working in the corner. 
up to Castone. Castone puts it down. Over to McCobb. McCobb goes one on nobody, finds K. Sanders over to Way in for three. Add that to his point total. Bang! 61-64. The Eagles have brought it back now within three points of the Hawks. Definitely making this a game tonight. 12 minutes and 46 seconds left to play in the second half end game. And that's going to be a turnover for the Hawks. Sending Concordia back the other way now with just with a three-point deficit. Looking to answer, bring the score back tie or just one under. Up to Jay Sanders. Down to Kay Sanders. Finds Matt Way and wide open on a drive, and that's going to put him within one point. Eagles now 63, Hawks 64. It's a one point game. Barron's pulls up. That won't go. Jay Sanders on the rebound. And that's going to be tipped out by the Hawks. And we'll get some substitutions for the Hawks. Number, number one checking in. That's Demiri Lindo. Eagles now just a one-point deficit headed back the other direction. 12 minutes, 12 seconds left to play in the game. And second half. Kay Sanders bringing it up for the Eagles. Another miscommunication. That's going to be two in a row. Hawks and Eagles both passing it out off a little miscommunication. And that's going to send the Hawks back the other way. Barron's bringing it up for the Hawks. Passes it over to Lindo. Down to Carter, back up to Barron's. Barron's works around the screen. And that's going to be a foul against Kay Sanders. Grabs, grabs the jersey of Roman Barron's, and that's going to send us into another timeout. The Happy Burger Grill voted the best tasting burger. In Hawks have possession of the ball after a foul. And Eagles minus away. one right now, looking to see what they can't do to come back in it right here. Nice defense there from Sanders. The Eagles get back, and you get a, a whistle called there. Seeing the Hawks getting pretty aggressive against Sanders here. Getting a delay of game warning there against Sanders. Not quite sure what that was. That was a white 22, actually. Oh, that oh, apologies. Edward Gray. I was going to say, it looked like Jalen Sanders walked to the other side. Yeah. I wasn't quite sure. So white 22 makes a little more sense there. Yep. Jay Sanders now with the ball up top, looking for the option. Goes over to McCobb. McCobb goes around, looking to go one-on-one. -on -one. He'll initiate the contact, go up with it. Jay Sanders with the rebound, goes underneath with the right hand, and they will take the lead, 65-64. to 64. And we've got a warning for both teams, I believe, for the chatter. I think that one was a uh, uh, delay of game there. The ball flips gotcha. over to the other side. So I think it's the same thing, just going on both sides. Gotcha. Edward Gray goes up for two. He'll get the two-piece. He'll go for the biscuit. Castone gets the call foul called against him. Don't know where that one came from there. It looked like pretty clean defense running through the whole way. You Curious know, on that. You know what they say. The ref is always right. They get paid more than us. Yep. And he won't get the biscuit, so. All don't lie. Yeah, that's going to put the Hawks now just up one point as the Eagles take it back the other way. Finds Jay Sanders open off the glass. And another lead change. 67-66. Eagles now take the lead up and over. That's stolen by Kale Knuckles. And we'll go back the other way. McCobb now two on two over to Castone. Castone puts it down, goes up, and he will score that through the block. 
Wow. Throw it down, big man. I love it. Yeah, Josh Castone, I mean, standing at six foot one, goes up against a, I believe, six foot five defender, and he'll put that one down. Yeah, he, he's walking away. He knew he was going to have to go up strong the whole way. Yep. He, he jumps up there and just says, I, I'm going for it strong. Whether I get the bucket or not, I'm definitely going to get a whistle. And he got both. He won't get the biscuit, unfortunately, but does walk away with a strong two-piece. And that'll send us back the other way. Hawks with the ball now. Hawks looking to make a move here in the post. Kicks it out to Barons. Barons finds Patrick wide open. And they'll catch that off the glass. That's number 21, Austin Carter. Cobb backing in. One on one. He'll go up. Easy layup. McCobb. I mean, doing a great job tonight in the post. Eagles put him on an island right there. So let, let him do his thing, and he did. Yeah, McCaw backing everybody down in the paint tonight. And the Hawks will come back the other way. Down now just three points with nine minutes and 40 seconds left to play in this match. McCobb on the help defense. Carter will go up, won't grab it. And McCobb comes up with a rebound, going back the other way. Castone, one on two. He'll go up. He will be blocked by Edward Gray. Excellent defense there. Good patience, no foul. Eagles will retain possession, however. Seeing uh, Eagles plus three right now have the possession under their basket. Chase Sanders bringing the ball in for the Eagles. Over to McCobb. Switching up the defensive structure here on McCobb right now. Going a little more quick feet rather than the strength there. So let's see. Kill what Knuckles for three. <laughs> Just in and out. Loose ball. You got a jump ball called there. Thankfully, everyone's getting up okay. Roman Barons looked to be grabbing his eye right there. Maybe got poked a little bit, but he is fine. And the Hawks will take possession after that jump ball. Nine minutes, nine seconds on the clock. Hawks possession. Edward Gray bringing the ball up for the Hawks. Looking to make a move here. Bring the lead either tied or just down by one. LJ Smith up to Theombain. Theombain for two. Won't go. Kale Knuckles with the rebound. And the Eagles go back the other way. Looking to extend the lead here with eight minutes and 45 seconds remaining. Finds Kale Knuckles wide open. Excellent pass from Kay Sanders. And that's going to extend the league by five points for the Eagles. LJ Smith being patient out on the perimeter. Over to Edward Gray. Edward Gray into Theombane. Theombane with the mismatch against Kay Sanders. And that will be a foul. Against Matt Wayan, his third. And Edward Gray will take the ball underneath his own. Eagles with 16 fouls, just one away from bonus. Pass up and over to Theombane. It's going to be a quick one off the glass. And that'll put the lead back to three for the Eagles. 60, excuse me, 73-70. And Eagles will take the ball back in their direction. Up to Jay Sanders. And right there, Jay Sanders driving it through. Goes to float this up. Doesn't get it. Gets his own rebound. He spins. Little spin move. Wow, what a move there. He's going to get up there. And they're calling a foul on the floor here somewhere. I don't know where they're getting that one. Oh, they're saying it's before there. So they're giving it on Concordia, number 12. Castone picks up his third team six. 750. After that quick timeout, Eagles lead 75 to 70. Edward Gray of the Hawks at the free throw line, looking to dwindle that down to just three. Some cool stats for you tonight. Kobe Sanders 
with career high assist tonight of 12. Looking to extend that. Edward Gray makes his first. Kobe Sanders' previous uh, career high. Or was it season high? I got to check on that. My apologies. Uh, that was a career high. His uh, career high was 10 previously against Viola. So now with 12 tonight against Holy Names. You know, I, I think I can speak for these guys fairly confidently in saying that they don't care about the records. They want the win because the win's what will clinch them the tournament berth right here. So that's what they're wanting to see right now. 14 seconds in the shot clock. The Eagles saying there's a ton of contact down there, and they're not getting that call on the other side of the floor. Yeah, big block there from Babakar Thiambane on McCobb's attempt at the layup. Castone putting it down, looking for the move, kicks it out to McCobb. Five seconds in the shot clock. They're going to need to move quick here. Kicks it out, needing a fast shot. It got up in time. Not going to fall, but you know what? The Eagles at least got an opportunity at it there. Yeah, that was a great attempt on, a, on just a quick throw up from McCobb. Almost dropped. And the Eagles come back the other, excuse me, the Hawks come back the other way. Down now just by three. Edward Gray's attempt is no good, and the Eagles will take possession. Coming back with a three-point lead. Seven minutes left to play. Kay Sanders goes up. He'll be fouled. That'll send him to the free throw line. That uh, one's going against L.J. Smith, his second. Fifth team foul there of the half. Hey, Sanders drains his first. 76-72. And he'll make his second, extending that lead by five now. 77-72. Six minutes, 55 seconds left to play. Eagles trying to maintain the lead. Hawks trying to take it back. Roman Barron's now working the ball for the Hawks. He'll go around the screen. He'll go up and over to Patrick. Patrick puts it up. He'll score. No foul. Eagles bringing it down. Just a three-point lead. Jay Sanders working with Kay Sanders on the right side. He'll kick it out. Up and over to Knuckles. Knuckles for three. Bang! <laughs> Another three-pointer from Kale Knuckles. Extends it 80-74. to 74. Kale Knuckles with 11 points now on the night. Playing excellent on both sides of the ball. And that's going to put the Eagles up by six points now. I've been an outspoken big fan of that young man for many years. Love what we're seeing him do. LJ Smith for two, or excuse me, for three. That will score. So that's going to be a good answer for Kale Knuckles. Three. And now 80 to 77. Eagles lead by three. Three point lead here. Eagles would love to be extending this a little more. Kind of going in tight, especially as we mentioned. Had a couple times they've struggled here late in the game, so got to give themselves the cushion. Yeah, finds Castone easily just at the free throw line again, maybe just short of it as well. 82 to 77 as he drains that easy shot. Little jumper. Hawks moving the ball around quickly, looking for that golden opportunity. Roman Barons puts it up. He'll rebound his own. Patrick now back out to Barons. Barons for three. That's going to be short. Rebounded by Kale Knuckles. Little tip away. Jay Sanders on the ball. Kay Sanders now moving the ball up. Four minutes, 50 seconds left to play. Jay Sanders with it now up top. Finds Castone wide open again on the drive. 84-77 as the Eagles extend the lead by seven points. And the Hawks coming back the other way. And that'll be a timeout taken by the Hawks. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Eagle Eye. We'll be right back. And 
And welcome back after that quick timeout as the Hawks inbound the ball here on their side. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Edward Gray goes up. He'll be blocked by Jay Sanders. Excellent defense there for the Eagles. Up and over to Thionbane. Thionbane backs down. Knuckles goes up. He'll go off the glass. Not a whole lot you can do right there. Eagles need to send some help there. Once again, we talked about the position the bigs are grabbing the ball in, and there it is. They're not giving way in any space there. It doesn't matter how far behind that three-point line he is. Okay, Sanders moving the ball around, hits McCobb. McCobb puts it down, goes up, over to Knuckles. And that's going to be a charge against Roderick McCobb. His third team's eighth here. That whistle will take us to immediate timeout. And welcome back after that quick timeout. Eagles lead 84-79. Just five points as the Hawks bring it back after that offensive foul from Roderick McCobb. Roman Barron's working it for the Hawks. He's going to take it up, and he will score 84-81. Three-point lead for the Eagles. It's definitely been a battle tonight, back and forth, back and forth. Kobe Sanders working it, looking for Castone over to Jay Sanders. Jay Sanders back in. Roman Barron's down. He'll go up. No foul there. And that's going to be a layup from Demiri Lindo, bringing the point differential to just one, 84-83. Kay Sanders bringing it up now for the Eagles. Jay Sanders to Castone. Castone looking for the opportunity. Jay Sanders over to Kay Sanders. Jay Sanders goes up. He'll drop it, 86-83. Excellent effort tonight from both the Sanders brothers playing phenomenal. K. Sanders playing some perimeter defense now on Barron's. Castone fights through the screen, finds Thionbane. Thionbane is fouled by Jalen Sanders. That'll send him to the free throw line, 86-83. Bain throws it short for his first one, so he'll take a second. Way in checks out. McCobb checks back in. Deion Bain, second. He'll miss. Jalen Sanders on the rebound, so the Eagles will take it back the other way, still with a three point lead. Two minutes, 30 seconds remain. Eagles trying to slow it down here on the ring up. And that's going to be a charge called against Kale Knuckles. You know, Coach, Coach Ken Ammon not liking that call right there. Thinking he's not getting it on the other side. He had just got done telling the officials that, and then he gets that one right there. Roman Barron's bringing it up here for the Hawks. Just a three-point deficit as the Hawks go into double bonus. Jalen Sanders comes up. Big block from Jay Sanders. Deion Bain on the rebound. He'll score 86-85. Eagles now lead just by one. Excellent block from Jay Sanders. Unfortunately, just falls back into the hands of the Hawks. And the Eagles will bring it back the other way. One point differential here. Kay Sanders will be fouled on the way up. And that's going to give him two. Six team fouls. The Eagles just one foul away from going into bonus.
Kay Sanders makes his first. And his second, that'll extend the lead by three more points. 88-85, Eagles now defending the Hawks, trying to get a stop here and coming bring it back the other way with a minute 45 left to play. Definitely a nail biter here at CU Arena tonight, folks. Well, and this is where the Eagles have struggled early on in the season so far. And that's a breakaway play as the Eagles are calling for it there. Saying, oh, see if they're getting it there. Either way, they're going to go ahead and get the whistle there. That's going to put the Eagles in bonus as the Hawks have taken seven team fouls. So that's going to put Kale Knuckles on the free throw line, looking to extend this lead further than three. That's to not give the Hawks any opportunity to tie it up. That'll be 89-85. Kale Knuckles now shooting his second. And he'll drain that 90 to 85. Kale Knuckles now playing excellent on both sides of the ball, like you said, John. And the Hawks will bring it back the other way. Edward Gray on the drive. He'll go up and around. Won't go. Rebounded by Jay Sanders. Case Josh Costone slowing it down over to K Sanders. K Sanders could have pulled up for three, holding on to the ball, trying to slow down the tempo, not yeah. give the Hawks any opportunity. Plus five, I, I like that decision there. Plus three, I don't know if you take that and eat, and eat the clock. Plus five, you got a two possession game. The Eagles are playing well, have been efficient, have been drawing whistles on the other side. I like that move. Right there you see a three pointer by Keel Knuckles. Doesn't go, you're gonna see the Hawks needing to move quick here. Hawks looking for the three-point attempt. Most likely go into the post anyway. And that'll be a foul against Kay Sanders. So that's going to put Rightfully the Hawks so on, on the free throw line. On Kobe Sanders there. I mean, he, he's diving for that one, trying to get aggressive for everything he can get. And it just happens to, to trip up the defender there. So it's a, it's a good hustle foul is what you're calling it. Nobody's ever going to worry about that one there. And the Ombang scores his first. Lead is now only four points. Hawks sending in the, the shooting lineup here. They're going to need to make a few. I mean, 90-86. This is a big free throw right here. Shots up and good. Let's see if they stay with the press coming down. They don't, surprisingly. A little, little shocked we didn't see that they're waiting for him to bring the ball across. The Eagles will slow it down, take their time, though. One possession game here. Castone working the ball for the Eagles. Goes around the screen over to Kay Sanders. Kay Sanders trying to slow it down. Calls for the screen from Kale Knuckles. He'll go around looking for the opportunity here. He'll go up. Won't go. And the Hawks are going to get an opportunity here with 18 seconds left. Over to Edward Gray. Edward Gray pulls up for th three. Won't go. Theon Bain scores. One point game, 10 seconds left over to Custone. Custone will be fouled, and as they are in. And welcome back. Nine seconds left. Joshua Castone on the free throw line. Just a one-point lead here for the Eagles. He'll make his first. Well, and Eagles are smart enough. They knew that he's the one that ball's going into on the inbound. Castone, a phenomenal free throw shooter on his side. So the Eagles got the ball to him quickly there on this side. This free throw here will make it a two-possession game on this side. Four points. The Eagles are going to try to not foul. Oh, and Castone gets the steal there. He... Thinks he gets fouled right there, going up. He is fouled. Three seconds left. It's going to put Castone on the free throw line. Excellent steal and shot attempt there. And that's that's going to do it for us, folks. If he scores this one, most likely it's going to be pretty difficult. You know, assumption's going to be here that he's going to make both of these. That's what you're hoping if you're Concordia, of course. Yeah. Let's see what they can get here on this one. Oh, 
Oh, a rare miss, th miss free throw there from him. That'll open it up a little bit. This is an important free throw to make here for him. Up and good. And he'll score that. Two seconds left. Greg James for three. Won't go. And that will close us out tonight. 93 to 89. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll have Kobe Sanders on in just a second. Stay tuned.